buying a pickup truck, haul capacity is a priority numero uno. Overloading is dangerous. To keep it safe, opt for a heavy-duty rig. Bigger than half-tonners, these cost more as well, and the maintenance is pretty expensive. But, an HD truck is worth every penny, it will get the job done, probably no matter how big the load is. Plus, resale value is pretty high and these vehicles are practically immortal. The engines have to be built strong, as well as the air filters, for heavier duty work. Even if you are using it for cruising, these trucks will outlast the sands of time. To get the best of a heavy duty truck, you'll need a configuration built around a diesel engine. Those drivetrains maximize towing capacity and the mileage is not bad as well. Still, it depends on how much you haul. Here are the best models there are in the market. Breaking into the heavyweight division is no easy feat for non-US truck makers, particularly in the heavy-duty trucks realm. Nissan at least tried, unlike Toyota. Their Titan XD, however, is not a true HD model, landing somewhere between the heavy-duty and half-ton classes. The company even dropped a turbo diesel engine, and a petrol V8 being the only option, it can't cope with big oil burners other HD models are using. Opting for a 5.6-liter gas unit, the Titan XD boasts a towing capacity of up to 11,000 pounds, not too shabby, but far, far away from models that follow. A lot of people will say that the Ram HD is the best truck you can buy. The legendary Cummins diesel engine edges out the competition with reliability and durability. However, it falls short in towing capability compared to Ford, maxing out at 37,090 pounds for the Ram 3500. With a robust output of 420 horsepower and 1,075 pound-feet of torque, it still packs a punch. Ram also nails it with tempting packages even in the base trim levels, but like other Stellantis Group vehicles, they're not immune to reliability hiccups with minor components. While the Eisen transmission offers a smooth ride, the company is already eyeing enhancements. It's only a matter of time before Ram pairs its Cummins diesel with the updated Allison gearbox. So, dubbing these trucks as the best might just be subjective, as they fall short in some key areas compared to the competition. The standout feature of the Silverado HD lineup. Undoubtedly, the cutting-edge Allison transmission. Recent upgrades have sent shockwaves through the industry, pushing competitors to up their game. While the 3500 model boasts an impressive towing capacity of 36,000 pounds, it's a tad disappointing that this record hasn't been pushed further from last year's model. However, expect a significant boost in 2025. Chevrolet is being criticized for the lack of premium interior options and features compared to Ram and Ford rivals. But do not rush, there's a fix for that further down this list. The Super Duty class will offer F250, F350, and F450 models, each with its own set of standout features and differences in minor options. For those eyeing top-tier towing capacity, the F450 and F350 variants are the best thanks to the 6.7-liter power-stroke turbo-diesel engine that bursts 1,200 pound-feet of torque. Properly equipped, you can get up to 40,000 pounds of towing capacity. The pricing for a Super Duty truck kicks off from $47,000, but that is a plain model, and you'll need at least 10 grand for a diesel engine. Ford offers plenty of options and the limited package will skyrocket the price to the six-digit realm. A mechanical twin of the Silverado trucks, the GMC Sierra HD is using the same 6.6-liter Duramax engine with 445 horsepower and 910 pound-feet of torque. The drivetrain is paired with the Allison transmission and the configuration is good for 36,000 pounds of towing capacity. What sets the Sierra apart from its Chevrolet counterpart are its upgraded interior options and premium materials, especially in the Denali trim. According to many enthusiasts, once you try out this package, you'll forget about all the others. And now, with the ultimate upgrade, the experience is further elevated. That is not all. The Sierra Heavy Duty lineup also offers an off-road AT4 version, rendering it a truly versatile HD truck. Base prices are at the same level as other companies. The AT4 is a great choice if you are about to tow a lot on tough terrains, but you need to pay it $83,000 with a diesel unit, while the premium Denali Ultimate is still under 100 grand before you start upgrading it. Toyota could shake up the heavy-duty truck market with their upcoming model. According to sources, the Japanese company is still considering the HD version of the Tundra, but it won't enter production this season. 
What's bugging us, Toyota is not using diesel engines, so it is a big question what can be under the hood for a competitive drive and towing capacities. The company made a bold move when they installed a hybrid system in the regular Tundra. However, the HD segment is for the big boys and massive hauling potential is required, and the best way to get it is a diesel engine. Knowing it, we can say that seeing a Toyota Tundra HD in the near future seems rather slim. It's not easy to say which is the best heavy-duty truck, especially when all three companies are building very similar configurations and offering comparable options. Personal preferences and past experiences, whether good or bad, likely play a key role in choosing one model over another. These are our picks. If you disagree with the rankings and have reasons why, we'd love to hear your opinions. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for new videos soon.